All right, here's some extra notes on dilations if you need them. So we're going to take a look at number nine in your notes. So graph the image of the quadrilateral below using the scale factor of k equals three halves. So first what we want to do is figure out what are the actual coordinates of our original figure. Well, we look at q is actually at negative one, one, two, three, four. So let's write this as a matrix right away. Q, R, S, T. So Q is at negative one, four. Okay. Now R is at one, two. S is at two, negative two. And T is at zero, negative two. So we want to take a scale factor of three halves. So we're just going to multiply, do a scalar multiplication of this. Okay, so you might need to grab a calculator. That's totally fine. No judgment. But let's figure this out. So three halves times negative one. Well, that's negative three halves. Three halves times four gives us three times four is 12. Divided by two gives us six. Three halves times one is three halves. Three halves times two gives us three times two, which is six, or divided by two, yeah, which is three. Three halves times two, well, we just did that one, it's three. Three halves times negative two, again, that's three halves times negative two over one, we get negative six over two, which gives us negative three. And three halves times zero is zero, three halves times negative two is gonna give us a negative three, and now we can go ahead and graph this. So uh, you can predict, hopefully at this point, whether this is an enlargement or a reduction. Let's look at our k factor. It's larger than one, three halves is actually about one and a half, well it is exactly one and a half. Well one and a half is bigger than one, so it's to the right of one on the number line. So this shape is going to be bigger the new shape is gonna be bigger. So let's just go ahead and graph it. So negative three halves, which is negative one and a half, all the way up to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's Q prime. Positive three halves to three. You're noticing that this one maybe didn't scale it as large as some of the others we saw. Well, that makes sense, because three halves isn't that big. S prime and T prime. All right, grab whatever straight edge you can find. And connect your points. There you go. There is your new dilated figure. Your Pre-image is the pencil, and your image is the red. All right, let's take a look at these ones below. So this says, identify the scale factor used to graph the image below. Hmm, <laughs> so we have an image. It's the image, right, because that's not uh, the prime. And then we have the prime image. So we can say the pre-image to the image. Did it get bigger or smaller? Well, the pre-image is this larger one and it got smaller, so it's a reduction. So we can automatically assume k is less than one. k is gonna be some number between zero and one on the number line. So when we find, figure out our answer, we can just, uh, we can check it to make sure it should be between zero and one. Well, let's figure out what are the coordinates of d. Let's see, it's at zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So D is at zero, six. E, so one, two, three, four, five, six. That's at six, zero. And F, negative six, three. All right, so D prime, E prime, and F prime. Well, D prime is at zero, two. E prime is at two, zero. 
and f prime is at negative 2, 1. So let's look at these numbers. How did we get from here to here? To get from 6 to 2, we divided by 3. To get from 6 to 2, we divide by 3. Negative 6 to negative 2 divided by 3. 3 divided by 1 is 3. So how do you write that as a fraction? Well, to divide by 3, that's like multiplying by 1 third. So our scale factor here is 1 third, and you could test that. If you multiply each one of these by 1 third, you're going to get these. So our k value is 1 third, and if you look, we decided that it should be less than 1, and it is. So do you think you really need to do it with every single point? Do you think you need to check every single point? You don't. You don't actually have to do that. So let's take a look at this one. Let's just check one point. Because if one point is multiplied by 5 or one point is divided by 3, all of them are going to be divided by 3. So let's take a look at x for this one. Let's see. That one is at 2, 0. And x prime. Eight, zero. Now from our pre-image, which is this one here, to our image, we got larger. So that means this one's going to be an enlargement, so k needs to be greater than 1. We'll, we'll just check that. It's a good check to make sure that you got the right answer. So k should be a number that's bigger than 1. So what did we do to get from 2? We started at 2 to 8. Well, we multiplied by 4, so our k value for this one is 4. And you could check that with every point. From w to w prime, you just multiplied every value by 4. From z to z prime, we just multiplied every value by 4. But in this case, you don't actually have to check every point. You could just choose one point. So I hope that helps.